in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Toledo Rockets and the Utes of Utah. The excitement is building up for the start of this bowl game. It looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. And here come the Utes. The Rockets are pretty heavy underdogs in this game. What do you think is going to happen out here today, Kirk? Utah comes into this football game led by their quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. I agree with you on this one. Utah will be victorious today. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Texas El Paso Miners and the Louisiana Lafayette Ragin' Cajuns. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Ragin' Cajuns. Fans on both sides think their team is going to win this thing. What's your prediction, Kirk? UTEP has an impressive-looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. No doubt about it, Kirk. The Miners are my pick. Nestler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the South Florida Bulls and the Wildcats of Kentucky. I'm really looking forward to this one as it should be a very exciting bowl game. And here come the Wildcats. 
We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. South Florida needs a big game from their talented running back, and I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory, but Lee is going to be very close. Kirk, great minds think alike, <laughs> but I disagree with you here. Watch out. I'm taking the wild kick. here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Now the hot chocolate and coffee stands will be swamped today as the temperature is below freezing for the TCU Horned Frogs and the Virginia Cavaliers. I'm really looking forward to this one as it should be a very exciting bowl game. And here come the Cavaliers. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Virginia is in for a dogfight, but we're looking at a linebacker who thrives on that. I don't think I've seen a more physical linebacker than this guy. I look for him to send a message early in this game. There's no question who I'm buying in this one. Mark it down. Virginia will win this game.
here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the Arizona State Sun Devils and the San Diego State Aztecs. The excitement is building up for the start of this bowl game. It looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. And here come the Aztecs. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Arizona State is in a little bit of trouble defensively. Of course, the key to this game will be their ability to put pressure on the quarterback. He's very creative, and I think his ability to escape pressure and make big plays is why they'll win this football game. This will be a good game, but look out for the Aztecs. Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Tulsa Golden Hurricane and the Bulldogs of Fresno State. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Bulldogs. The Golden Hurricane are the slight underdog in this game, but there are no doubts on their sideline that they can pull it off. Fresno State needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. I've been quiet about this, but I think it's finally time for my pick. The Bulldogs are going to win this game.
Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Florida Atlantic Owls and the Western Michigan Broncos. The excitement is building up for the start of this bowl game. It looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. And here come the Broncos. The Owls are coming into this game looking very fired up. Kirk, what are your thoughts on today's game? Western Michigan looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. Well, you know who I'm going with. Yo, the FAU Owls are going to win. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Texas Tech Red Raiders and the Bruins of UCLA. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Bruins. The Bruins haven't been buying the underdog type, which should make for a great game today. Kurt? Texas Tech has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. And the thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. These guys are going to bring their A game today. I love Texas Tech in this one.
and Kirk Herbstreit. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Demon Deacons. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Wake Forest is in a little bit of trouble defensively. Of course, the key to this game will be their ability to put pressure on the quarterback. He's very creative, and I think his ability to escape pressure and make big plays is why they'll win this football game. This will be a good game, but look out. I'm going with Penn State. We're joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles and the Aggies of Texas A&M. I'm really looking forward to this one as it should be a very exciting bowl game. And here come the Aggies. The Aggies have a slight edge in this one, but Kirk, I think anybody can win. What are your thoughts? Texas A&M looks a little overpowering in this one. And I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I gotta have to go with them too. The Aggies are gonna win this game. Here along with two of the best commentators in the game, 
Kirkcurve Street and Lee Corso. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Get ready for the Texas Longhorns and the New Mexico State Aggies. The regular season is over. We're going bowling. And here come the Aggies. The Longhorns have a slight edge in this one, but Kirk, I think anybody can win. What are your thoughts? New Mexico State is looking to get the ball in the hands of their star wide receiver, and I think he's the most athletic player on the field today. Look for him to get his touches early, and look for him to score two, maybe three times in the upset. Keep dreaming, Kirk. Don't mess the pitcher. The Longhorns are going to win. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. This is going to be very unpleasant cold weather for these boys to battle as we get ready for the Maryland Terrapins and the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. The excitement is building up for the start of this bowl game. It looks to be a great game filled with heartbreaks and celebrations. Here come the Scarlet Knights. The Scarlet Knights haven't been buying the underdog type, which should make for a great game today. Kurt? Maryland has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. And the thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. I'm going with the Carroll pick.
Corso and Kirk Kirk Street. It's going to be cold out there today for the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders and the UCF Knights. The regular season is over. We're going bowling. And here come the Knights. The Knights look like the better team on paper, but what do you think of this matchup here, Kirk? UCF is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. I agree with you on this one. We're going to be partying on our affair tonight. Go night. Nestler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Ball State Cardinals and the Michigan State Spartans. Both teams are looking to make a statement in this bowl game. A win here would carry a lot of momentum into the offseason. Here come the Spartans. The Spartans are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Michigan State has one of the best linebackers in the nation, and he can do it all. Whether it's stuffing the run or playing the pass in coverage, he'll be all over the place today and lead his team to victory, Coach. Hey, everybody's picking him, so I will too. I got Michigan State winning this team.
along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Well, the hot chocolate and coffee stands will be swamped today as the temperature is below freezing for the Iowa State Cyclones and the Temple Owls. We've got a great bowl game lined up for you here. This one looks to be an incredible gridiron matchup. And here come the Owls. The Owls don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Temple is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. I'm picking the Cyclones. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The fans are prepared with their blankets and the heavy coats for this chilly matchup tonight between the Indiana Hoosiers and the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Golden Gophers. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Minnesota is in a little bit of trouble defensively. Of course, the key to this game will be their ability to put pressure on the quarterback. He's very creative, and I think his ability to escape pressure and make big plays is why they'll win this football game. I'm smelling something, and it's an upset. Minnesota's not going to lose this football game.
Diamond in the Booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. It's going to be cold out there today for the Washington State Cougars and the Cougars of Brigham Young. Both teams are looking to make a statement in this bowl game. A win here would carry a lot of momentum into the offseason. And here come the Cougars. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Washington State is in a little bit of trouble defensively. Of course, the key to this game will be their ability to put pressure on the quarterback. He's very creative, and I think his ability to escape pressure and make big plays is why they'll win this football game. My pick is B. Right. Hmm. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Washington Huskies and the Cardinals of Louisville. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Cardinals. The Huskies don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Louisville is led offensively by their quarterback and he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction big game today by the quarterback I know everyone has been waiting it's time for my pick Louisville is in this one Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. This is going to be very unpleasant cold weather for these boys to battle as we get ready for the Georgia Bulldogs and the Warriors of Hawaii. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here come the Warriors. 
the Bulldog, are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, Kirk? Georgia has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blowout here. Nice pick, Kirk. This one's easy. I'm picking the Bulldog. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Nevada Wolf Pack. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here comes the Wolf Pack. The Jayhawks expect big things from their guys today. Who do you have winning this one, Kirk? Kansas has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. And the thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. I gotta have to go with them, too. No, I'm picking Kansas. Brad Nessler here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Ole Miss Rebels and the Fighting Illini of Illinois. Happy New Year from all of us at EA Sports. This one should be a fun game to watch. And here comes the Fighting Illini. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Ole Miss has an impressive-looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. 
He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. This will be a good game, but I'm picking Ole Miss. Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the LSU Tigers and the Hurricanes of Miami. It's time to go bowling. We're privileged to bring you the play-by-play -play of this highly anticipated bowl game. And here come the Hurricanes. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Miami knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. You know me, I decided my pick a couple of days ago. Miami will win big.
fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's going to be cold out there today for the Florida Gators and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. There's really no better way to start off the new year than right here with some good old college football. And here come the Cornhuskers. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Florida has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage, and Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. I hate to agree with you, Kirk. If you're not a Gator fan, then you are Gator bait. Brad Nessler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. We've got rainy conditions today for our game with the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Purdue Boilermakers. Happy New Year, everybody. As usual, the 1st of January brings a lot of hard-hitting action. And here come the Boilermakers. The Boilermakers haven't been buying the underdog hype, which should make for a great game today. Kurt? South Carolina has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. And the thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. I've been quiet about this, but I think it's finally time for my pick. No one's beating South Carolina today. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreit and the coach, Lee Corso. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Seminoles of Florida State. EA Sports wishes you a safe and happy new year as we bring you this exciting college football game. Here come the Seminoles. 
The Seminoles have been looking forward to this matchup all week. Kirk, what are your thoughts on this game? Florida State needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. I'm going my alma mater. Yo! Florida State. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's a picture-perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the USC Trojans. Happy New Year, everybody. As usual, the 1st of January brings a lot of hard-hitting action. And here come the Trojans. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. USC has a young man at wide receiver that is so dangerous every time he touches the football. I think this one's going to be close, but the key here is whether or not he can be contained for the entire game, and I say no. I gotta have to go with them too. Not only are the Trojans going to win this one, they're going to win big. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Auburn Tigers and the Clemson Tigers. Happy New Year from all of us at EA Sports. This one should be a fun game to watch. And here come the Tigers. 
The Tigers look ready to come in here and get the upset. Kirk, how do you think this one will play out? Clemson needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. Hey, Kirk, AARP isn't calling this one wrong. Clemson will be tough in this one. Street and the coach Lee Corso. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the Missouri Tigers and the Volunteers of Tennessee. I'm really looking forward to this one as it should be a very exciting bowl game. Here come the Volunteers. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Tennessee is looking to air it out in this one, and their favorite target is none other than this wide receiver. And in a game like this, you got to look for an edge, and he gives them that edge that they're looking for. I agree. I think we'll see an upset today, Kirk. Good game. Get them smoking. I'm taking the ball. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Wisconsin Badgers. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. 
And here come the Badgers. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Virginia Tech is in a little bit of trouble defensively. Of course, the key to this game will be their ability to put pressure on the quarterback. He's very creative, and I think his ability to escape pressure and make big plays is why they'll win this football game. This will be a good game, but Wisconsin Badgers, they got this one. with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The players will have to battle cold temperatures in the game tonight between the Northern Illinois Huskies and the Pittsburgh Panthers. Both teams are looking to make a statement in this bowl game. A win here would carry a lot of momentum into the offseason. And here come the Panthers. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Northern Illinois has a guy at wide receiver that everybody's talking about, and for good reason. He's the strength of this offense, an offense that can really spread the ball around. Lee, watch for him to come up big in this one. This will be a good game, but I gotta go with the Huskies. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreit and the coach Lee Corso. Tonight's game will see some rain to go along with the cold, so let's get set for the Bowling Green Falcons and the Thundering Herd of Marshall. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one, should be a lot of fun. And here comes the Thundering Herd. The Thundering Herd have been looking forward to this matchup all week. Kirk, what are your thoughts on this game? 
Marshall looks to unveil their high-powered offense, and the guy to look out for is their wideout. Lee, I'll tell you what, this defense and this young secondary is going to have their hands full because I think they're a little overmatched. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. Marshall won't have any problems today. Nestler joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Oklahoma Sooners. It's the season finale. This is the game we've all been waiting for, guys. The national championship. And here come the Sooners. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. West Virginia has a good chance here because of one reason, the play of their outstanding running back. He is a phenomenal athlete, and I think he'll have a big game today, and I think they're going to win a close one. Ah, forget about it. Boomer Sooner. OU wins this one easy. <laughs> 